the fact that I had to give it out in class. Um, my, my last class kind of made me regret actually doing the thing. Like at one point, I wish that I didn't even give them anything because of how they were behaving, you know. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for those persons who have been follow, following me on TikTok, you'll see that every semester I've tried to do something, um, even if it's a small thing, some kind of appreciation for my students because that's just how, how I am, that's who I am. One of those teachers, and I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this for, for the gloat or hype or anything. I just want to um, just share what I do that maybe it can be an inspiration to somebody else make it might be an idea to somebody else but yeah I'm in this year for the money definitely um, need an income but still you know it's I'm really in this for the love it was really the love of kids and you know teaching that really pushed me to, to become a teacher that was, that was one of the factors right this is year five and it is so shocking to know that five years have passed um, since I've been in the classroom. <laughs> five years, all of five years, my God. And for those five years, every school that I've taught and so forth, I'm, I'm, I've always been the give it time. If I have something to swear, I'm going to share, you know, I'm going to give. And especially since coming here to the US, um, I think I've given more than I've ever given, um, especially like snacks on a daily basis, especially those who I have in the middle of the, the, the day. Um, we ain't got lunch until 1.30 and I, sometimes I'm hungry so I can imagine them who have three classes, I'm gonna be their third class, they have lunch after. Most of them they come and they're hungry so yeah I always try to have a little snack so every every semester end of semester i normally give a little small token and those tiktok videos are those videos are on tiktok the past what how many semesters this is gonna be my fourth semester here at this school and every semester i try to to do something every semester no i didn't do it for the first semester but so i've done it two i've done it two out of the three semesters that i've been here and i want to do something keep on that tradition to, to for that last couple of days to give a like a small token i'm not really sure what i'm, I'm gonna do and again there are some kids who are not gonna be appreciative but still i'm gonna do it you might not get a thank you but uh, i'm still gonna do it i'm just gonna do it it's just why i'm not doing it for the, the likes or doing it for popularity or something i'm doing it because that's why i'm anyways yes yeah, so i'm still thinking about that more likely i'll make another part of this video when I've done that and you know put everything together I still have like what three weeks so my next week I'll start thinking about that but anyways um so the third grading period has just ended um we have one more grading period this is me we're in the last couple of weeks of school and for since spring break so since April all of April I decided that I wanted to to do a little small token thing that I normally do some of the semesters as well so so just to track back i remember when i just started in those many meetings that i attended they they would here in the us they they emphasize you know calling parents especially when kids are misbehaving and i remember being in a meeting and the facilitator made an important point that really resonated with me that um let's not just call parents for something bad but also try to check in when the kids are doing something good and i think that's something that i tried i remember doing that in my past school in jamaica sending emails especially when we were online i would normally send out emails just like appreciation emails to the parents um you know just giving them an update i also did i remember doing this student of the month based on their grades 
where you know I'm if you know me you know I'm I'm somewhat tech savvy so create a video with their picture and all of that I remember doing that and that was a year before I actually came here to the US I did that and some of the kids were appreciative some of the, the parents were appreciative you know some didn't really care and I'm going to keep doing that whatever we are for so I remember I was the, the facilitator introduced us to these little cards let me so to these little cards and the assistant principals and other people when they come to observe you they have different variation of the cards that they they will use them so um, just write a note and they would, they would leave leave it for us to say you know you're doing a good job or whatever so I decided so I remember from um, I think it was last year the fall semester so my first semester I tried it I did it and uh, so you write a note something nice write a parents address and name and give it to the administrative assistant and the person she she normally mails it to their home um, so I did that two semesters I didn't do it last semester to be honest which was fall fall because <laughs> I just wasn't up to it sadly I just wasn't up to it and I, you know I had some good kids but then I just wasn't up to it up to it but anyways I'm I'm pushing through it's kind of difficult you know cuz writing them you're writing them by hand all right so it's kind of time consuming and so forth but i've been pushing through <laughs> and i finally finished because i want to give them out today which is when they're i'm sure they're gonna get their report today for the third grading period so i want to just give them um home, send them home with them will some of the peers some of the students bring it to their parents definitely not um, but whatever, I, wanna, I just want to know that I did it. The reason I was going to mail it, let them mail it, but the address and the information on the system sometimes isn't correct. Some of these kids are living somewhere else and they don't end up don't get it. So I decided to just give it to the, the, the students and let them mail it. So, <laughs> so I have some envelopes here. Some, uh, so I'm finished writing the note. Let me just. See. So I'm finished writing, and this is just an example. This is an error one. I made a mistake on this. So, so I write an example. So dear parents and guardian, I want to take a moment to, um, yeah, I left out a word, so that's why it's an error. I want to take a moment to, to express my gratitude for having um, John Doe in my algebra two class. I commend um, their humility, respectfulness, diligent work ethics, and consistent effort in my class. Continue to support and motivate um, them to strive for excellent best regards regard or whatever. And in my name, that's it. So it's along that line. So I, I pretty much. I think all of them, so in total I have about 20 students and these cho students were chosen based on their average or their grades um, in the first and second grading period. So we have four grading periods, so every four weeks a report is given out and that's a grading period. So based on those who have maintained a good average and they didn't cheat because Whatever about this today, I can know when some of them are undeserving and some of them actually cheat their way through. The ones who put in the work, and I've observed that they put in the work, then those are the ones that made the list. And will students argue about it? I try to do it as discreet as possible. Um, I'm going to try to discreetly give them the envelope because I know others are going to say, why am I not getting an envelope and so forth? But I can't do it for everybody. So for those persons who made, a, a, I think it was an 80 or above, as their final average for the grading period, um, they're the ones who qualify today. So they have consistently been making an 80 or above. Um, and I narrowed it down out of the, sorry. So out of the, um, I teach about 90 kids, and out of the 90, I had 20, 20 kids, 20 kids, right? So I had, I wrote down like three templates, three templates with the help of ChatGPT and from what I used previously. Um, and yeah, um, so I'm finished writing those, I have, so I have them here. I'm gonna put on the parent's name 
on it and then just write the student name on the envelopes and take those down and I think that's it. I have like I have like half an hour so I need to do that before my class begins. Yep. So I wrote the name, the student's name on the envelope. And I have the I have the card. So yeah. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So I'm gonna seal this and do the next 19. <laughs> This is the last one. I'm finally done writing up. It's actually 19. So I'm going to go to the workroom where there's a pipe to see if I can wet these and seal them. Because I'm gonna use my saliva. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna give these out today. And as I said before, I'm going to think about um end of end of semester end of class gift i feel like i'm going to do the iron bands those are very reasonable on amazon i'm gonna check the price for those and maybe buy some of those i think i have some buttons from last year from from last year spring um might just use those and i have some bags if i'm not mistaken some of those gift bags so these were the bags that i have to use so these were the bags from last semester, from January. I just gave them some candy. Um, that was it. Nothing memorable. I want to give something memorable that they, you know, they can have for at least a while to say, oh yeah, Mr. Wellington gave me this. So, yeah. But we're gonna work on that. So the next part of the video will be me talking about that. So anyway, peace out for now. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is uh, the next part, two weeks after my last, the last clip. So just to get you all up to date, I did give out those envelopes. Um, so as you, could, as you had seen, I wrote the student's name and I addressed it to the parents. <laughs> Some of the kids, they opened it. Um, because you know they were, they were curious as to what it is, what's the content of the letter. Um, yeah. Um, and for one specific class, you know, I was trying to avoid the whole conversation because the fact that not everybody got one, so I was trying to do it, do it as discreet as possible. And when it was sent home, like no conversation was had, but the fact that I had to give it out in class, um, my my last class. Uh, kind of made me regret actually doing the thing like at one point I wish that I didn't even give them anything because of how they were behaving you know um you know just this excessive chattering about it and it, I think it made some of the other kids especially those who did not get one feel some kind of way we're human um and I didn't want that to happen but I don't receive a thank you or anything you know, no feedback. I got, yeah, I got some feedback, but it wasn't like, they weren't appreciated. But as I said before, still doing it. Might not appreciate it, nor might not get the gratification or anything, but still, I'm still gonna do it. Um, so anyways, so I, as I had also said, so this is the last week. Today is actually Memorial Day. Um, exams will be tomorrow, Wednesday. I have like two more days with my kids. The other two days will be just makeup, and chances are most of them won't be here. So, um, I'm going to give out um, my little token. So I was for the past few weeks or so I've been you know really thinking about it. I was not really sure what I was gonna do, and I'm, I waited until the last minute. So. <laughs> Ordered some stuff. Hopefully, it's um, suiting. 
because if it's, it's not what I wanted then you know I still have to make it work because it's too late too. so I'm, I'm so I have one exam tomorrow for one of my class I'm going to give them during the exam and then I'll, I'll give my other two classes during their exam on Wednesday so let's unbox um, this so I also bought some some candies normally give chocolate and candy but I didn't buy any chocolate this time but I just bought candies I love Jolly Ranchers so let me just go for that let me go for that yeah so I bought this huge bag of the nerds it holds it holds 90 pieces and I ditch about 80 kids so yeah And I bought this variety bag of Jolly Ranchers because as I said, they love Jolly Ranchers, they love candy in general. So those two things plus yeah. Yeah. Just... Alright, so I had some of these bags already. So these are the bags that I'm going to put um the, the stuff in yeah. so these are the bags right um this is a bag that i normally use this is the one that i use that I, i've been using for the three times that i've done this or two times so these are the bags. I remember the first time I did it, I did a survey and that was stressful. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I did a survey based on their favorite color and then I printed the names and customized the bags. So if Tom's favorite color is red, I would give them a red bag and then I would personalize the bag but that was very time consuming that was very time consuming and it was very difficult to hand out so I'm not doing it um so yeah that's the bag okay so last time I gave them I bought some armbands with some encouragements on it with some buttons I gave them an armband and a button those kids did not appreciate that some of them were throwing away the buttons and all of that. They were overall, as I said, some of these kids are not appreciative. Let me go ahead and get a knife to cut this. So yeah. So I tried a new, a new person this time around. I didn't buy the same armbands. I still have some from the last time, but I tried some new ones. <laughs> Okay. So I think it's about about 160. So I got 80 armbands and 80 of the buttons. That should cover the entire my three classes. Um, I'm going to give them a button and an armband with about maybe one or two of the nerds and one or two. Jolly Ranchers. So these are the it's the lollipop and it's a hard candy and it also has this Strix candy which is new. So it's three different varieties. I'm, I'm gonna just mix them up. Just do them random and uh, yeah so that's gonna be the gift so yeah let me pull these and see how they look. They've been in the sun they're very hot but yeah. So that's the dream big, another dream big. How them do this? I don't know how them do this. Never give up. So I, yeah, I really liked what was on them. Never give up. Never give up. So I don't know how they do this. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to look back. But anyways, I should have about 80 of these. I'm looking at the writing, something that will encourage them, something that they can wear for a month or two 
some of them gonna give it away. Uh, some of them gonna trade the armbands for candy. The candy is more precious to them than these. Some of them won't even read it, but still, I just want to play do my part and to just uh, give a little token. I'm sure, you know, who knows? It might be encouraging. I might be appreciated by at least one person, one student out of the 80. So have a candy. So all of these are different. Um, have different motivational stuff on them. So your potential is limitless. Um, what is? Don't stop until you are proud. Very encouraging. Be happy. Never give up. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself, and so on. So, they are about um, so there are about um, 20 different patterns, and I also have the buttons. I'm not sure if I'm going to give them um, if I have enough armband, I might just give them the armband and the and the candy, but I put them in this bag. Um, yeah, so let's go. Hey guys, so I'm trying to wrap this up. I gave out the the cards and on the exam days, I also gave out um, those little sorry, yeah, there we go. I gave out those little um, tokens, so goodie bags with some candy. It has a bracelet with an encouragement on it. Some very encouraging stuff and as i said before a lot of the kids did not even appreciate it i got a few thank yous that was it um they ate the candy mm, they're gonna eat the candy i saw some of them I sh i'm sure some of them will just throw away the armbands or give it to somebody else but nonetheless i'm still gonna do what i'm still gonna do do me eh? not going to make that deter me um and in that same breath i just want to to share something just want to share something as soon as i can find it so i remember so as i said before that do it for the love not do it for the likes and you might not get that appreciation you might not get that response especially seeing that they are high school kids if it was middle school then you know they're they're gonna express their feelings of how much they appreciate you and all that not that the kids do not appreciate i know that they do some of them do but they're just not the type to express express that much but anyways on my birthday um i got so i got two messages that really from past students that really made made my my day and you know really encouraged me 
So this is the first one. Happy birthday to one of the best teachers in that school. To be honest, um, try, let me try to read this in English. To be honest, I would not have reached far without your help. And uh, thanks for that. I'm grateful. So on this special day, I wish you a happy, happy birthday, sir. And enjoy to the fullest. Yeah. And I really appreciated that. Um, <laughs> I really appreciated that. The other one, no, really, you know, really took it for me. Um, so I taught the student in grade, grade 10. That was like, that was the first year of me teaching. Um, and, uh, you know, I remember, <laughs> I didn't even know that the student had my, they were, they were like, for every class I normally designate one person who, um, to be like the, the, my assistant or something like that. So he was the person, um, he was very responsible, uh, one of my good students. Um, and you know, I didn't even know that he still had my number. But he was one of those people who are lurking. Mm -hmm, still have my number. Anyway, he popped up in the night and said happy birthday. And you know, I was really shocked, but I pre appreciated it. And then he went on to, to um, and I was telling him congratulations because um, they just left sixth form. So upper six, grade 13. And I was really proud of them. You know, it, it was very, it was so, um, I felt so good to know that uh, when I saw the pictures on Facebook and Instagram of the ceremony, the school leaving ceremony and seeing several faces, students who I've taught in third form, grade 10, it, it was so, it was, it, it was that good feeling, right? To know that I, though it was just a one year teaching math, but to know that, you know, I made somewhat of an impact and even one or two of those lives. I helped, I helped, helped to bring them where they are today, right? I love, that's a gratification. But anyways, so I was telling them, I was telling him congratulations and you know, all the best in Cape is Cape Unit Tools. And then he responded to tell me, and this is the message that he sent, actually got into med school and I remember you saying I had the doctor handwriting already right and you know i was so elated i was so happy because you know every day i would normally tell tell him that you know you need to become a doctor because his handwriting <laughs> it was giving a doctor a handwriting and you know having different conversations with them i remember he he expressed that he want he was gonna do sciences because you know third form is when you choose your subjects for fourth fifth form and he said that he wanted to do the sciences and all of that and you know I would always encourage him that's knowing me <laughs> I'm going to encourage him. and you know it felt so good to know that he got for him to come back and to tell me that you know he got accepted into med school you know that that's not easy went through. And you know, to know that I was one of those persons who who said that um, to him that he needs to become a doctor, and look at him now, he's on his way to become a doctor. You know, it, it just, these are the things. You know, as I said, I don't do this for the love, nor for the, do it for the money, I'm not going to lie. But still, it's not, we all know that teaching is not an easy profession. But these are the little things that really push me and encourage me to, to keep on going when I, when I get these messages, you know, and just knowing that I can have an impact, inspire someone, I can impact the life of someone and so forth. So um, I hope this video was of help, that from the few things that I have shown in this video that um, you know, I can give somebody an idea for the upcoming school year, um, something that you can do. Again, you might not get a, a response, but don't let that deter you. Don't let that stop you from doing what it is that you 
in your heart so far it's what you want to do um yeah just keep on the plant that seed the seed might not grow at the same time you know you might not get a favorable response at the same time but guess what down the line who knows at 10 years you might just stumble upon one of those students and you know not because a student doesn't express to you their gratitude and so forth doesn't mean that they don't appreciate you and all of that um so yeah a little encouragement and all of that keep on doing what you're doing for the teachers out there and uh, yeah i think that's it so guys before you go we're still on the road to 300 subscribers so go ahead and click that subscribe button um yeah like share subscribe leave a comment um, and I'll see you soon with another video I'm out.